dependence of energy on temperature for a spin system. The number of states of a system of capital N spin 1 half, uh, each having a magnetic moment mu0 and located in a magnetic field B has been calculated in problem 3.9. So here I have noted the result. The natural logarithm of the number of accessible states was found using the Stirling's approximation this way. Uh, use this result and the definition beta equals del ln omega del e to derive a relation expressing the energy of the system as a function of the absolute temperature T. <clears throat> so for part A, we're going to uh, look at the derivative of natural logarithm of omega with respect to E, which is uh, beta. Now, since I have omega written in terms of E prime, that would be derivative of ln omega with respect to E prime and derivative of E prime with respect to E. Well, the later one is uh, since E prime is equal to, was defined in problem 3.9 as E over uh, mu zero B del E prime del E is one over mu zero B. So we will keep this in mind. And for <coughs> beta, now I have to take the derivative with respect to E prime. The first term capital LN, capital N, LN 2N will give me no contribution. The second term will give me a contribution that will be a minus 1 over 2 the first term because it's a product a derivative of n plus e prime with respect to e prime that is 1 uh, so natural logarithm capital N plus e prime and then I have minus 1 half n plus e prime multiplied with derivative of uh, natural logarithm of n plus e prime that is 1 over capital N plus E prime, the derivative gives me a uh, one. So these two will uh, cancel. The next term will be uh, the derivative with respect to E prime will give me a minus one. So it's plus one half uh, natural logarithm capital N minus E prime. And then I will have a minus one half n minus e prime multiplied with minus 1 over n minus e prime so n minus e primes will cancel and the minus minus will become a plus so then this multiplied by 1 over mu 0 b will be my answer so i can see that uh, beta is equal to because I have also a cancellation of this uh, minus 1 over 2 with uh, plus 1 over 2 here, uh, I will have as a result 1 over uh, 2 mu 0 b natural logarithm of n minus e prime divided by n plus e prime. So uh, from here, I can see that uh, 2 beta uh, mu 0 b will be equal to natural logarithm of n minus e prime divided by n plus e prime. Now we can isolate uh, e prime. So n minus e prime will be equal to n plus e prime multiplied by exponential 2 beta mu 0 b. So uh, taking this into n parentheses on the left, I will have capital N times uh, 1 minus e to the 2 beta mu 0 b. And then in e prime parentheses, I will have uh, 1 plus e to the 2 beta mu 0 b which will give me for e prime uh, capital N times 1 minus e to the 
2 beta mu 0 b 1 plus e to the 2 beta mu 0 b if I multiply the top and bottom with e to the minus beta mu 0 b I will obtain for e prime capital N times e to the minus beta mu zero b minus e to the beta mu zero b e to the minus beta mu zero b plus e to the beta mu zero b you can see that this is in the form uh, e to the minus x minus e to the x divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x which is mi minus tangent hyperbolic x so uh, this will give me e prime is equal to capital N with a minus sign tangent hyperbolic uh, mu 0 b divided by kt because beta is 1 over kt so uh, since this is e prime and the relationship between e prime and e is that e is mu 0 b times e prime uh, for the energy of the system I will have minus capital N mu 0 b uh, tangent hyperbolic mu 0 b divided by kt now for part b of this problem since the total magnetic of this uh, system is simply related to its total energy e uh, use this answer to part a to find an expression for m as a function of t and b compare this with the result derived in uh, 61 and 59 okay so the total energy is indeed related to uh, total magnetic moment uh, multiplied by b it's e minus uh, m dot b so m is uh, minus e divided by b so we can see that the total magnetic moment will be capital N mu zero tangent hyperbolic uh, mu zero b divided by kt and the total magnetic moment is capital N times the average magnetic uh, moment so uh, E bar is minus uh, M bar uh, B and M bar is capital N mu bar so we find that the average value of mu is uh, mu zero tangent hyperbolic mu zero B over kt so this is consistent with the previous results okay so we're trying to find the temperature dependence of the uh, total energy of the system uh, and in order to do that we're using the definition of beta that is partial derivative of the natural logarithm of number of accessible states for energies in the range e to e plus delta e uh, with respect to e so we have the result for natural logarithm of this number of accessible states from problem 3.9 where we have defined e prime as e divided by mu zero b and if we take the derivative with respect to energy and isolate e prime we find that e prime is minus capital n tangent hyperbolic mu zero b over kt and e is uh, just mu zero b times that result so it is minus capital n mu zero b tangent hyperbolic mu zero b over kt 
And by using the relationship between the total magnetic moment and the average energy of the system, uh, so th this is the average energy because uh, beta is by definition del ln omega del e when the energy is the average energy. So that's the uh, at equilibrium basically. So this is at equilibrium. Uh, so using the relationship between M bar and E bar, I can see that M bar is capital N mu zero tangent hyperbolic of the uh, mu zero B over KT. And mu bar is uh, the magnetic moment per spin average value. Capital N times mu bar is M bar. So mu bar is mu zero tangent hyperbolic mu zero b over kt, which is consistent with the previously obtained results.